I'll put your hands up. It's time to put a bullshit on. Brad Storm with Championship Rounds Top Alliance Combat. Outstanding event here tonight. And this gentleman right here in the winner's circle, Doug Yamato Usher. He's been taking guys and giving them their first loss. Second time in a row here at TAC. What's your thoughts on that, sir? I just had a, a tough training camp, 10 week camp. Um, different diet this time. You know, did a no carb diet. Just uh, leafy green vegetables. How did that work out for you? Good. Yeah, I worked out good. A um, couple times during the during the match, we were on the ground, you know, scrambling or whatnot. Right. Felt a couple of adrenaline dumps. Just tried to stay relaxed and just work what I what I've been trained to do. And yeah, well, why don't you tell some of the fans, like as far as you say, relaxing in a cage? Fans might find that hard to believe, but what are you thinking about when you're trying to get the upper hand? Well, you have to you have to relax to keep your your mind clear, to keep you from panicking and making bad mistakes. So, you have to come in the ring that way also, and you can't be all hyped up and tense and things like that. Adrenaline because, dump. Right. It'll yeah. it'll cause you to lock your muscles up, and uh, and make mistakes. So you have to be loose and free flowing, and you have to be able to breathe and listen to your corner. You know. Now you were telling me earlier on that you didn't want to take an easy fight. You wanted a guy that was going to be tough, an undefeated guy. Uh, does that keep you going? Is that what you uh, desire, so to speak? Do you want another guy that's undefeated next? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I was offered a guy that was 1-6. One in, um, one in I was offered a guy that was 0-2. And, and I decided that I wanted to actually go after the guy that's 2-0. and oh. uh, I don't want easy fights. I don't believe in taking easy fights, although a lot of people tell me that's what I should do to no. pad my record to get into Bellator or UFC. Um, what good I, is it when you get there with easy fights? Right. Yeah. You know, I'm not a... I'm, I'm not a fighter. I'm a martial. I'm a mixed martial artist, and I'm on a journey to to prove something to myself. So when I win fights, you don't see me celebrate. You don't see me jump around. You see me stay on my knees until my opponent recovers and gets up. Because for me, it's it's all about the battle. It's all about the 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 hand to hand combat. That's what, you, that's what you live, breathe, eat, and right. sleep for. Right. I fight yeah. with the I fight with the with the, the the spirit of the warrior, the ancestral spirit of the warrior, uh, the spirit of the samurai, you know. And for me, it's it's about about benevolence, you know. And I don't want anything easy. I want to come out of that ring knowing I just I went in there and went to war with somebody that can actually right. match up very well with me. And you talk about cross training with different individuals, Clint Hester. Diego Lima, they have got to make you better. Right, Douglas Lima. I've uh, been doing a lot of work with Manu, Manu in tow. Oh, Manu, yeah. uh, Rodrigo Archilario, my, uh, my 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 jujitsu sensei, also one of my judo senseis. Uh, I want to thank uh, Leo White with Wakamusha Judo, USA Judo in Atlanta. I want to thank Tim Stout of uh, Moab Fighting Concepts, my coach, um, and uh, my girlfriend Krista Timms for the weight cut. Well, there you have it, fans. You're going to want to follow this man. He might have a Twitter page. You're going to want to look him up. Doug Yamato Usher. And you know what? A shout-out goes out to Cage Side Submissions. We're championship rounds. My boy, Reese the Grease Man Hamilton. Myself. If you don't follow us and you don't watch this man, I'm going to personally punch you in the face. Oh, no. I'll put your hands up. It's time to put a bullshit on